Hello everyone, welcome again to HJ Programming Solution. Today we are going to see one more interview question. So the problem statement is right shift the given array by k steps. So here we have to right shift or rotate the array three times as k value is three. Okay, so here we are going to see a very straightforward solution where we are we are just shifting each and every element to the right and the last element we will be uh, replacing with the 0th uh, element. So here this is at 0th position. This is the first position, second, third and fourth. Okay. So now we will shift this 0th position element to the first position. First position element to the second. Then the second position element we will shift to the third position and third position we will shift to the fourth one. And this is the last element which will go to the 0th position. Okay. So after first iteration, what will be the output we are now getting? So here we will get a 9 as a first 0th element. Then 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay, so this is our first iteration. So same way we have to do three iterations as k value is 3. So here also uh, we will be doing the same uh, procedure. Here also we are shifting all the elements and the last element we will again shift to the 0th position. Okay, so what will be the result again in the second iteration? Here we will get 8 as a 0th element then 9 all element now shifting right so all the elements we are getting the same 5 6 and 7 okay this is our second iteration and the third iteration will be this 8 will shift here at uh, the first position and then this 7 will go to the 0th position okay so now we see what will be the output here in our third iteration. We are going to get the output. Okay. So here we will get a 7 as a first element. Then 8, 9, 5 and 6. So this is our third iteration and here we have received a expected output as well. Okay, this is our output and after all the iteration we have received the same one. So let's see how we will be doing this in a coding. Okay. So here I have created one class rotate array example. So first we have taken one array same value I have taken. And let's take a value for the k is 3. Okay. Now, what we uh, we, ha we have uh, did a uh, 3 iterations. Okay. For that, we will write one for loop which will start from 1 till i is less than k. Or here as we have started the loop from the 1 let's take from the 0 so i less than k and then i plus plus okay so this uh, for loop is for that three iterations and inside that for loop what we will take we will take one temporary variable where we are going to store a last element of the array so how we will be getting the last element array of array of length Okay, array of array of length minus 1. Okay, so array of length means what will be the length for this array? 5, 5 minus 1, 4. So, fourth position uh, element is 9. So, that will be stored in the temp uh, variable. And now, we will write the logic for the shifting. So, for int j is equal to so j we will start from the last element so here also we are going to write array dot length minus 1 
then j should be greater than 0 and just we have to decrement the value for the j and here what we are going to do array of j we will replace the array of j with array of j minus 1 okay means for example here so for example here this is array of uh, array of j means last element okay this one so this one we are going to replace with the previous element means minus 1 okay and after all the iteration we have to replace the 0th element with temporary variable where the last element is stored okay so this is the logic for our solution and uh, let's write one for loop where we are going to print all the elements from that array okay so i am just executing this program let's see what will be the output see here we have received 7, 8, 9, 5 and 6 and our uh, output was also 7, 8, 9, 5, 6. Okay. So, this is the solution for our uh, problem statement. So, let me show, let, let, let's debug this uh, problem so that we can get how it is working. Okay, okay just a minute we have to first uh, so here i am just putting some debuggers now just start the debugger okay so first it is inside this for loop and here uh, i am just doing the f6 and now we can see what is the value inside this temp 9 okay how this 9 value came here see array of array of length array of length is 5 5 minus 1 4 and at the fourth position what is the value 9 okay so that's the reason in temp we have received a 9 value so this for loop started okay see here in array of j what is the value 4 sorry the j value is 4 so at fourth position the 9 is the value which we are going to replace with this j is 4 4 minus 1 3 array of 3 will be 8 okay 8 will just taking the position of this uh, fourth element means the last element Okay, so this uh, loop will be executed for all the elements and at last the 0th element means this 5. So, 5 already we have shifted to the next. So, this 9 will be shifted in the 0th position here. Okay, now again this loop will uh, go, uh, now the debugger will go to this for loop. Okay, as 3 times this procedure will follow see here for the second iteration now the temp value is 8 ok and uh, let's go ahead this is our last iteration so here in temp we should get the 7 ok so this is our last iteration now the debugger came here in this for loop and all the values will be printed one by one see here the first value is printed if you can able to see here 7 ok then the second will print 8 then 9 then 5 then 6 ok so this is the solution we have created for our problem statement and I also have wish, uh, have debugged this uh, code so that we can understand easily how it is working internally Okay, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.